Today we're making these buffalo chicken stuffed wonton cups. These are the perfect Super Bowl appetizer and they're so good, I bet even Taylor Swift would love them. Hi, I'm Tara with Simply Made Eats and welcome to my channel. It is almost Super Bowl Sunday and whether you're in it for the game, maybe a T-Swift sighting or the Usher concert, I have the perfect appetizer. These buffalo chicken wonton wraps are so yummy. We're gonna be using a rotisserie chicken to save on time and these only take 20 minutes to make. The first thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 325 degrees. For our ingredients, we're gonna be using a store-bought rotisserie chicken. You can also just use one large chicken breast that's already cooked. We're gonna be chopping this up, just dicing it into nice little fine pieces. We've also got some wonton wraps. These crisp up really nice in the oven, and it's gonna be like the shell for our actual buffalo chicken filling. Then we've got some cream cheese. We're just gonna use four ounces. We've got Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. I'm using mild for this recipe just so everybody can eat it, but you can definitely use like medium or spicy, whatever your favorite is. We've also got some green onions that we're gonna chop. I like to chop this on a bias so they look like a little bit fancier. And then we've got some crumbled blue cheese. This can also be substituted with cheddar cheese if you're not big on blue cheese. I know either people love it or they hate it. And then last but not least, we just have a little bit of seasoning. We're gonna be using just some garlic powder and salt for this recipe. The first thing we wanna do is get two 12 count muffin pans ready. It's easy just to bake them all at one time. If you only have one, you can just do two batches. It's really no big deal at all. But what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and spray this with some vegetable oil. Make sure you get enough in each spot. Next, we're gonna open up our wonton wrappers, and these are pretty delicate, so just be careful when you open them. All we wanna do is just stick it down in the pan, and then just use your hands just to make sure that it's like flattened. You want these to like look like a cup so they can hold all that filling. Once these are all loaded into our muffin tins, I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a spray. This will just help them get nice and crispy. And then we're gonna pop these in the oven for about five minutes just to crisp them up a little bit. Okay, so as our little wonton cups are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and fix the buffalo chicken filling. I like to start with just four ounces of cream cheese, and I really like to let this soften a little bit, but I also will just go ahead and take my spoon and just, it's basically like not always softened, so I'm gonna just soften it a little bit more before I add in all my other ingredients. I always do this with my baking cream cheese rolls too. And if you've let it on the countertop for a little bit, it will definitely be softer than how mine was. This isn't like frosting where like it has to be soft. Like it's not gonna mess the recipe up. It's just that it's easier to work with. Okay, next we're gonna add in our diced chicken. We've got a half a cup of blue cheese. And then we're gonna add in about a quarter cup of our buffalo wing sauce. And we've got our garlic powder and salt. And we're just gonna stir this up. And then once I get it pretty nice and combined, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rest of that buffalo sauce. After about five to seven minutes, we're gonna go ahead and take these out. What you're looking for is for the outside to be like where it's not so like flimsy. You want them to be like, see how that's like in a cup form. We don't want them cooked all the way because we're gonna put them back into the oven. Sometimes there's a couple that kind of like fall like this one is, but I can still move it enough. That's the thing is like when you pull these out after about five to seven minutes, they'll be like flimsy still so where you can move them if you need to, but they're also like hard enough to where you can put the filling in and it's not gonna like run out. Okay, so now we're gonna add about a heaping teaspoon, not a tablespoon, to each one. We don't wanna fill them up very high because it will just overflow and make a mess. And when these come out, we're gonna top them, you can either do some more um, blue cheese and we're gonna top them with those green onions. So we don't need a whole bunch of filling in here. You gotta make sure you have enough for all 24. Now we're gonna pop these back in the oven again for about five to eight minutes until they're nice and crispy. After about five to eight minutes, I like to spin them around because a lot of times they'll start like browning on one side but not the other. I need my other oven mitt. So just 
just spin it around like that and then pop it back in the oven. We're gonna cook them for about another five minutes. You really have to watch these in the oven too because what happens is like, they look like they're not finished at all and then like within two minutes, they are like really ready to come out. Once you let these cool for a little bit, we're just gonna go ahead and top with some green onions. You can also serve this with like a side of ranch or some blue cheese so people can just drizzle that over the top. These are so yummy. Really like the perfect appetizer and so easy. Also you guys, I have a ton of appetizers on my website, so make sure to check out simplymadeeats.com for like a ton of recipes. I've got some really good cheeseburger sliders that I just made last week that I know you guys will absolutely love. That's it, we're all done with these buffalo chicken stuffed wonton cups. Let me know in the comments if you make it for Super Bowl Sunday or let me know what appetizers you plan on making. This one's so good, I hope you like this recipe and make sure to subscribe for new recipes every single week. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time. Bye. These are so good. I'm sure you can hear the crunch from my mic. <laughs> I hate chewing in it because I'm like it's so close to my face but they almost taste like a tortilla chip. They're so good. And that creamy chicken filling is so yummy. I use the mild, the mild spiciness and I still feel like it's hot. So, but I know I'm a wimp with spice. <laughs>